Hi everyone, I'm Dana Ponsky, your guide to college, and welcome to Being Jewish in College's video series, Kibbutz in 10 Minutes. Today, you're gonna to get 10 minutes of valuable information from Maya Edelson, the Executive Director of Texas Hillel Foundation in Austin, Texas. Thank you so much, Maya, for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Of course, happy to be here. Okay, so the first question I always ask is, can you give us the name of the Jewish Center on your campus? Sure, so Texas Hillel is located just a block off campus at UT. We do also serve other colleges in Austin, but primarily we're focused here in UT. What are the other colleges that you've um, helped support in addition to the University of Texas? Um, St. Edwards University is just a few miles from here and also Austin Community College. There are two primary schools that we serve other than UT. Awesome. So obviously focusing more on UT, but you can include all the other schools as well, is how many Jewish students um, do you support on campus or on the campuses? And in particular, what is the breakdown amongst um, reform, conservative, orthodox, humanist, reconstructionist, culturally religious, or whatever title our very diverse community <laughs> uses to identify themselves? Sure, so our, our best estimate right now is that there's about 2,700 Jewish undergrads at UT. Obviously, there's no way to know exactly, but that's based on our, our historical records and our best estimate. Um, and, and the breakdown, we really have a very diverse Jewish population. We have students who are coming from Jewish day school, Jewish summer camp, um, BBYO type programs. And we have some students who really have very limited prior involvement in the Jewish community and are coming here. And this might be you know, one of the biggest Jewish communities they've ever been a part of. So it's, um, it's, it's across the board. Um, I can talk later more a little bit about our Friday night Shabbat programming. We do offer different types of Shabbat services. So we like to, to support all different forms of expression of Judaism through Hillel. Wonderful. So um, my next question always is, are there any kosher food options available to students? And if so, what are they? Sure, so um, here at Hillel, our commercial kitchens are certified kosher under the supervision of Dallas Kosher. And we provide catered meals pretty much every Friday night during the school year and on major holidays. Um, so it's not a daily meal plan, but students can come here and know on Friday night they're going to have a kosher, hot kosher meal. It's delicious. Um, there are other, you know, packaged options on campus. There's not an official kosher meal plan on campus. And for students, depending on their level of kashrut um, in Austin, um, there, there is a kosher supermarket. There's Trader Joe's. There's other places where it's pretty easy to get kosher meat and kosher products for students who have apartments and are cooking at home. Awesome. Um, so you kind of briefly mentioned it, but now we'll have the opportunity to talk about it some more. Um, can you talk about the weekly Shabbat dinner or gathering opportunities that are available? Sure. So here at Hillel specifically, um, pretty much every Friday night during the academic year, we have services and a Shabbat dinner that's free of charge to students. So that can look like different things um, during services, depending on where student interest is in a given year. We'll have different options. They're student led. Our rabbi educator also helps lead and works with students on that. We also sometimes have a discussion program during that time for students who might want to do that. We also have students who just like to come and kind of hang out in the lobby and see some friends um, before everyone comes together for a, for a really nice Shabbat dinner here. Okay. Um, so that, that's sort of um, Friday night is one of our big gathering moments of the week here. Okay. Um, what would you say is your most popular or well-attended program that you put together um, on your campus each year? So I think, you know, consistently Shabbat is the highlight of the week. Um, you know, students are so busy during the week. Friday night's a great way to start your weekend by coming together for a Shabbat meal. Um, throughout the course of the year, actually just a few weeks ago, um, we had the return of our Israel block party, which is a day long festival celebrating Israeli culture um, and, and peoplehood. And it's, it's all sorts of fun stuff. And it's right in the middle of campus. And in uh, get the given day, we'll have about a thousand people come through with a big tent. So um, that program had been on hiatus for a couple of years with the pandemic, and we're really excited to have it back this year. Awesome. Um, talking about things from like an academic point of view, are there Jewish studies majors or minors that are available to students? And um, are there also any Hebrew language course options that students can take um, either, you know, as a full language or as an opportunity for them just for enrichment purposes? Yes, we have that here at UT. We have a wonderful Jewish studies program, the Schusterman Center for Jewish Studies. We also have an Israel studies program. Um, so students can do a major or minor or you know, just take an elective or two if it fits their interest. Um, and we also have a Hebrew language program. We have a great relationship with the Hebrew department. So students really enjoy those classes. 
And also at Hillel, we have informal Hebrew classes with our Jewish agency Israel Fellow, which can serve for students who want, you know, just something more informal. Or sometimes we work with the Hebrew professors that that can be a space where they come and get supplementary work for their homework. And we have a nice relationship there. But those options, those options are there for students. Wonderful. So kind of shifting gears a little bit, one of the things that a lot of families um, often will ask is if we can talk a little bit about the political or social justice climate, um, particularly at the University of Texas, since that's where most of your students are coming from. Um, and if you could talk about topics about you know, BDS or anti-Semitism or anti-Zionism, and more so if you've had issues, how does the university respond to those and how does Hillel feel that they are supported through those situations if they do arise? Sure, it's a great question. So you know, our campus here, we're right in the middle of, of Austin, right in the middle of the state capitol. State capitol building is about 10 blocks from where Hillel is. It's a very exciting, dynamic kind of place to be. So, you know, probably we have students we're very involved politically and we're very involved in different um, different causes and different volunteer programs. So, you know, th that is part of uh, part of the campus culture here. Um, I think this is a, a, you know, a great place to be a Jewish student from what we've heard from students and what we understand from them um, that they're comfortable being Jewish here. Um, you know, like any very, very large university campus, there are isolated incidents that might happen each year. And we work really closely with students um, as needed to help them understand how they might respond or advocate for themselves. And Hillel, we really pride ourselves in building strong relationships with our university and campus partners. Um, and we're in close communication with them. So if something does come up, we're on the phone together. We're talking about what happened. Um, and we feel a lot of support from the university. They really value and, um, and are always seeking to understand even more about our Jewish community. So I think that that's overall a very positive climate. Um, and I think one really great thing is our students are very proactive and want to educate themselves and educate others. So, you know, if there ever is an issue, they're eager to, to get out there to, to be uh, proactive on it. So. Awesome. Um, so what challenges, if any, might a Jewish student face on your campus? And that can cover any number of things, you know, socially, emotionally, that sort of thing. I mean, you know, coming a big, it's a big campus and, yeah. and there can be just general social challenges that come with that, just like there's great opportunities. I think UT has so many different ways to get connected whether that is through student organizations, you know, fraternity and sorority life, what we call spirit groups here, um, the band, you know, all cultural groups, all those things. Um, Hillel and Jewish life is embedded into that campus culture. So I think this is the kind of place, you know, I often say part of our role is to help a really big campus feel smaller and help students find a network of friends and feel noticed and, and you know, have a place to turn to. So we're really proud of that. I think like any big campus, especially in a state like Texas, is, you know, students might, Jewish students might come and meet a student who's from a big urban area and had lots of Jewish friends in high school and knows about different holidays. And they might be in classes or have a roommate who's coming from a really small community where they haven't had a lot of exposure to other Jews. And that can be really interesting um, and, you know, really unique kind of opportunity and it, you know, and it might present some challenges. Um, but I think this is also the kind of campus where if you want to come and feel surrounded by Jewish community, um, whether that's through Hillel, one of the other Jewish student organizations on campus, Jewish Greek life, you can. Um, and so I, th I think it's about finding that balance. But um, we see ourselves as helping students kind of navigate the university environment to find that community and sense of belonging. Okay. Um, can you share one interesting piece of information about, we'll use the University of Texas, that you would want people to know? Oh, there's so many interesting things. We really like burnt orange. I'm wearing black today, which is strange. But like, the, you know, I'm not from Texas. I'm from California. But the school spirit and the pride and the culture is very real here. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I, I think that's something that's a draw for a lot of students and families mm -hmm. um, is that you come and you're part of a really rich tradition and there's different, you know, there's different symbols and there's songs and there's things you do and people get really into it. And so- um, you know, we, we do hear sometimes, you know, it's UT, it's Austin, it's very different than the rest of whatever that means different than the rest of Texas it is, but there's a lot of Texas pride here. Um, and that's something really fun to be a part of, but if you've never owned cowboy boots before, you might get your first pair if you come here because it's, you know, it is part of the culture. So, uh, there are worse things to buy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, and my final question always is what do you enjoy most about leading the Jewish community? Um, on your campus or in your community? Oh, we have great students. Just our students take their studies seriously. 
They take their fun seriously <laughs> and they want to get involved. And so I think I'm always um, really proud and amazed when I look around and I see everything our students are doing. You know, they're, they're in intensive, interesting majors. They're taking time to get involved in volunteer projects or, you know, run a big program through Hillel. They're doing an internship. They, they like to be very active. And I, I think that's really fun to be a part of a dynamic community like that. So. Wonderful. Well, as always, those are my 10 questions. So this was really great. And we're going to go ahead and provide people who are watching the video or hearing it, if they're listening to it, you know, on a car ride, um, the opportunity to connect with, you, uh, with Texas Hillel. Um, through your website as well. And these will also be posted on a YouTube page, on websites. Um, and so we're really happy to be able to do this with you. So thank you so much for participating. We appreciate it. You're very welcome.